Good evening, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great Thursday night. Going to get started here in just a second. Excited to hang out with you guys. Getting everything set up for myself right here. Get this party started. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom, boom. This is your first time on the live stream. Say hello. Drop your name in. Let's see who we're talking to today. Hang on. Hey Maria, how's it going? Hope everything's going well with you. Just getting my notes together here. And we will get started. Cool. Okay, let's get this party started, friends. Just getting all my notes together here. Get myself set up. Ah. Ready to get rolling. Let's get started. Cool. Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well and uh, you're having a great night. Just got to sort of set up here. I guess I'm in color. It's like the Wizard of Oz and uh, we went from black and white to color. Uh, that's what we're going to be sticking with tonight. So I hope everybody's doing well and you're having a most excellent, excellent Thursday night. Uh, thanks for coming and joining me. If this is your first time in the chat, uh, drop your name in the chat. I just want to know who I'm talking to and what friends that we're hanging out with tonight. I got my good friend Maria hanging out with us tonight. And uh, Maria's doing good. It's going. Uh, excited to follow along. Cool. I'm glad you could follow along. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything uh, uh, today. But uh, sort of the today sort of topic was a little interesting one we're gonna we're gonna sort of roll with it and uh, have some fun with the uh, the idea of what we're doing for tonight and uh, you know so we're putting in are you putting in the hard work and uh, that's sort of what we're talking about tonight is putting in the hard work um, how, how do you get the hard work in what are you doing to pursue your creative passions uh, your goals, those type of things. It's a good time to check in. Right now, we uh, ha had a lot of goal setting uh, in January. So now it's been uh, January, February, March. We're at the ends of March. And I think it's a good time to sort of hang out, recalibrate a little bit, and, and talk about um, your goals. Are you attaining your goals? Are you focused? Are you putting in um, the hard work to get to where you want to go? And, uh, you know, that, that's sort of what our topic is tonight. I'm excited about talking uh, with you folks. Um, talked about some experiences and things, what I usually do to, to, to put in the hard work, to put in the pencil miles, put in the reps uh, to get to where you want to go. There's a lot of things uh, hitting us artists in the artist community right now with AI and other things. Uh, right now with Hollywood, is still a little slow right now uh, for, for new projects coming out and things like that. And uh, I'm excited to talk about this um, in this topic. But let's kick off the top of the show and then we'll say hi to everybody. So good evening, everybody. My name is Paul Anjali and I'm a live action storyboard artist. Uh, I created this channel uh, as a way to have fun and to uh, reach new people and to share 
my journey and my processes with you. So uh, if you are somebody that's super interested in visual st storytelling, uh, you're an artist that wants to get into storyboarding, um, and this is a, a career path for you that you want to get into and you know, you're trying to reach out to find somebody to help you on your journey uh, or if you're a storyboard artist and you're already working right now or you're just getting started or you're working right now and you're trying to improve your craft you're trying to level up your work uh, so you can get more gigs uh, more projects or work at that studio you've always wanted to work at or you're into comics, um, you know, other storytelling mediums, whether it be picture books or, or whatever the means are, animation, things like that. Or if you're just somebody that likes to just hang out and watch an artist work, what does a storyboard artist do and how do they work? What's the process? What's the thinking? Um, this is the channel for you. So please consider subscribing to the, to the channel. I really appreciate the support. I think we're only one sub subscriber away from a thousand subscribers. I, my mind is blown that so many of you out there here in, uh, the YouTube platform is so interested in storyboarding and visual storytelling and whether you're telling your own stories or you want to work for somebody else and help a director visualize their big box office smash hit film or you want to get into animation or comics or other storytelling uh, mediums. Uh, it's really so exciting to see so many people so interested uh, and uh, with your support we've grown this channel so quickly and uh, I really sincerely appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to come and hang out with Polly here and uh, I hope I'm giving you some great value, some great content to help you on your journey. So uh, I come to you three times a week. Uh, I come to you right now, I've, I'm coming to you on Mondays, Thursdays and Saturdays. Uh, the Monday session is our is our storyboarding mastering the basic series. Think of it as your tutorial, your how-to lessons. Uh, this is the day I'm more of doing uh, more instruction and, and chatting about teaching and those type of things. You know, in terms of what is it that you need to know to be a successful storyboard artist. And there's a lot of topics that we haven't even we've just. We've just grazed in the top of the surface of all the stuff and years and years I've been working on this stuff um, and to be able to share it with you. So I'm excited to share that with you. And then on Thursdays is our time to sort of hang out and just draw. I think it is so important to hone in your craft as a storyteller, as a storyboard artist or a, a comic artist or whatever your, your visual storytelling medium is that you, you, you got to practice your craft. You got to know your fundamentals. Um, blissful uh, soul. Um, I was working really hard this morning. I was going to try to pull it off for you today, my friend, but uh, I've been working on your uh, your perspective uh, class. So uh, I've been putting together an easy way for you to understand how do you work in storyboarding with your perspective. So uh, blissful soul hang out. I might try to knock this one out next week on next Thursday. And, uh, you know, so stay tuned. I didn't forget about you. So, hey, did we make it? Did we made it to a thousand subs, Maria? Did we make it? Let me take a look over here real quick. That's exciting. Awesome. Let's see. I got all these windows open. I can't, I don't get to see it in real time. Yeah, hot dog, celebrate, wow, that's awesome. Thanks so much, everybody, that means so much to me. I've been working so hard to, to, to get this. It's just a number, I am looking forward to having even more than just a thousand, but uh, that's awesome. Yeah, I just refreshed it, yeah, no, cool, that is awesome. Thanks so much, everybody, I really appreciate it. Awesome, 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 that is so exciting. Very, very cool. Thanks so much, everybody. That, that means a lot to me. We got to do it live, too. That's awesome. Who is the holdout? <laughs> That's great. Wow, how fantastic is that? Thanks, everybody. Really appreciate you taking the time. Wow, that's great. So um, I was talking. Thanks for, the, thanks for the heads up, Maria. I really appreciate that. Um, so Blissful Soul, hang tight. I was putting together your uh, one point. Two point, three point, and uh, how we really see the world in five points. 
And uh, we'll all uh, talk about that and about bending lines and, and sort of like Neo from the Matrix bending bullets. We're gonna bend some perspective lines and do that type of stuff. But there's some, uh, some great things that we're gonna be chatting about and I look forward to uh, sharing that with you, uh, Blissful Soul and uh, everybody else out here in our community of uh, like-minded folks. So, cool. Um, let's go ahead and say hi to everybody in the chat real quick. If this is, like I said, your first time in the chat, uh, drop your name in the chat. I'd like to know who we're hanging out with. Uh, I got my good friend Ria. Uh, happy to have you here. I got Raul. Hey, Raul, how you doing? Where are you from, Raul? When what are you working on? So two questions for you, Raul. Where are you from? And two, uh, what are you working on? Are you working on to be a storyboard artist? Are you working in comics? What are you working on? Curious. Blissful Soul. You know, uh, what are you working on right now, Blissful Soul? What are you, what are you working on lately? And then I know what Maria is already working on. Cool, so that's good stuff. Awesome, exciting. Okay, I'll give it a second here in the chat. I'll just take a sip of my old coffee here. And uh, just just a heads up for everybody. Um, when I was driving home tonight uh, from work, huge electrical thunder, lightning, and stuff. So it's raining pretty good over here in Pennsylvania. Uh, getting that those April showers early right now. So uh, I hope that the power doesn't go off in the house. If it does, well. We'll catch up later, so just a heads up to everybody. Gotta lose the Christmas cup. Brazil, I started freelancing as a stroke. Hey, congratulations, that's awesome. Right on. So from Brazil, uh, working as a uh, freelance storyboard artist, cool. Are you doing um, animation, live action, commercials? Uh, just curious. That's awesome. And then another question. Um, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw some questions out during this chat, uh, and uh, because I'm, I'm about ready to start pivoting some stuff on the channel, and I just wanted to get some feedback while we're sort of all hanging out and uh, chit chatting and talking. So let me pull that up real quick. Just real quick on the chat. Um, question. In future um, live streams or videos. Would you like to cover that are important to you? To you. Okay, I threw a question out there just now, and the question is: uh, In the future live streams or videos, uh, what topics would you like to cover that are important to you? And then back over to Raúl real quick. Um, mostly animation so far. Cool. Awesome. Well, congratulations. That's super cool. Uh, and then Blissful Soul says, haven't really had a chance to work on anything, been stuck in bed with flu, but currently working on character designs. Okay, cool. Well, I, I hope you feel better, my friend. I'm sorry you're not feeling too well, but I appreciate you hanging out with us and, and uh, you know, chit-chatting and everything. So, uh, super appreciate you. Thanks for jumping on. Hope, hope the flu gets uh, past you real quick so you can get back into... Uh, what you love doing. But yeah, drop it into the chat real quick um, of what you would like to work on, you know, whether it be, uh, you know, a video, um, you know, is it the, the, you know, is it the fundamentals of drawing? Is it the fundamentals of storyboarding? Uh, more intermediate or advanced storyboarding? Uh, tools? Um, the business side? Uh, just curious, so I'll, I'll throw this out there and, and keep the comments coming. So I really appreciate that. So Maria says I like to learn how to draw cars. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, um, we'll work on cars and uh, uh, materials, uh, solid form objects, and things like that. Um, th that's something I have on my list of, of things to cover. You know, everything from cars to rockets to planes to choppers. Uh, you know, to um, 
you know, just solid form objects. I think that it's always, uh, if you're more of an organic drawer, you know, artist where you draw organically very nicely, but then you go into hard structures or hard surface structures, that's where that perspective and everything comes into, into big play. So cool. Okay, so let's let's kick it off. So today's topic was about putting in the work. Are you putting in the work? Um, I, I would love to say that storyboarding is, is super easy. Any type of visual storytelling. Oh, it's a, easy. It's a breeze. Um, you make out of it what you want to make out of it. But it uh, there's a lot of work to it. There are so many different fundamentals uh, that you need to work on to be a successful storyboard artist. Um, and uh, visual storyteller or whether if you're doing comics or, or animation or whatever you might be doing it takes a lot of work and um, each of you know how much work it takes you know I, I take this pretty seriously and uh, you know I'm always honing in on my craft and I draw every day and I try to relate some of those quick sketches and those drawings with you friends out there on my Instagram feed uh, here on the YouTube channel as a short, uh, you know, I try to, to put in so many pages a day, and that's not work. And this is just fun, you know. Uh, I've spoken to other pro storyboard artists about it, and we sort of don't necessarily say we're learning. It's just more of a we're um, exploring, we're we're diving into something, we're reconstructing or seeing how another artist constructs something. And uh, how can we pull some of those ideas and processes? And it might just be storytelling. Uh, there's a, a, an artist out there, is Sachin. And Sachin, and the, the way Sachin goes into learning storyboarding is by just storyboarding, or uh, reverse storyboarding every single frame of a movie. I believe Sachin did uh, Terminator 2 with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then um, he's I think he's currently working on uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark right now. And simple line art, but just focusing on those shots. And, he, and he's taking, meticulously taking the time to uh, hit every shot. And, uh, you know, it gives you a lot of knowledge in terms of what you're doing. And somebody like that is putting in the hard work. We put in all different styles of hard work and what we're doing and how we're learning. And you really got to put in that time. You know, we've talked about this to death already about having special time, use a sketchbook, all that type of stuff. But you really got to put in the work and it doesn't stop. Even if you get to my place or you're working, you know, 24-7 you know, uh, you still got to put in the work, you still got to learn. And it gets, sometimes it gets um, interesting as somebody who works in the industry, you, you, you have to, you're working all day drawing and thinking and doing those things, but you still have to practice and, and hone in on your work. And uh, I just recently, I was in with a, a group of other professionals and we were we were chatting about uh, storyboarding and a few of the folks in the group have just gotten their opportunity uh, to start directing and getting behind the camera and it's so exciting to see uh, visual storytellers like storyboard artists going and putting in uh, so much time in and the learning doesn't stop you continue wanting to learn and this particular board artist uh, just directed his first feature and a huge success and uh, that, that's fantastic, but you don't ever stop learning. We, you know, technology is changing, filmmaking is changing. You need to know the past, the present, and the future of, of what you're doing so you can tell fantastic stories. So it's always, um, it's one of those things that you're always practicing on all the time. And uh, that practice, for some of you that are just getting started, that practice helps you develop your own style. You know, um, the style sort of is granted to you over time with your practice and what you like to draw and, and, and the way you draw. Everybody has their own individualized styles. And it, it is pretty interesting to see, you know, how, how people work and what they pull uh, out there from uh, foundational art skills to whatever, whatever discipline you work in. And it's really interesting to see because uh, there, you know, in this group of, of, of folks I've been talking with, it's like, uh, it's fantastic. Some of the people are just 
awesome comic book artist. I mean, some of the best I've seen in the, in, you know, in the industry, you know, and then they transitioned over to film and, and doing movies and doing storyboards for movies. And it's just a great, interesting to see people moving, bouncing back around or, you know, in, in courses I've taken in the past, seeing people that were in live action went to animation or animation to music video. You know, it's really interesting uh, to see the stories. And uh, so there was a question that was posed, you know, and I thought it would be an in interesting question to ask there too, besides what, do you guys want to work on or what topics you'd like to cover but what was the thing so here's a question for each of you out there and this would make it a great chat and make a great conversation we can have while we're drawn today is what was the catalyst what was the one thing that said to you that i want to be a visual storyteller or i want to tell stories through drawings or i wanted to become a storyboarder what was it for you? What made it interesting for you to sit there and go, I, I could be an illustrator and do fancy paint, or I wanted to be a painter or a sculptor or whatever. What made you want to become a visual storyteller? I'm curious, throw it into the chat. So uh, let me quickly ask the, put the question in the chat myself. So what was the inspiration for you to become a visual storyteller? Just curious, throw it in the chat. Love to see, uh, give it a second here. Love to see what you guys have to say. I'd be happy to share with you my story. Cool, don't be shy. Got a lot of people in the chat right now. We'll get drawn in a minute. But drop it in the chat. Take a couple minutes. Think about it. Think about it. No rush. Think about it. And, uh, you know, I'd love to see see the feedback of what made you want to become a storyboard artist or a visual storyteller? What was it? Was it a film, music, a drawing, a comic book, a cartoon? You know, uh, you know, could you just tell great stories and you just wanted to match it up with drawings? Throw it in the chat. I'd be really curious to uh, hear what everybody has to say. So again, if you're enjoying uh, the live stream right now, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And I thank you so very much, my friends out there in YouTube, uh, for subscribing to the channel. We just hit 1,000 subscribers. Oh, man, that's mind-blowing to me. And, uh, you know, thank you so very much. And don't forget to drop a like and a comment. And I've been getting a ton of comments on these videos. So please take a few moments if you're watching this live or you're watching this and you're one of my friends on that I can't don't have the time to jump on, but you're jumping on later on the replay. I'd really, uh, first of all, thanks for helping me uh, and helping to build the channel along with me. And then number two, you know, uh, drop a drop a line in, in this in the comments uh, for this particular video, whether if it's just even a thumbs up emoji, it doesn't really matter or, uh, you know, and throw a like on there too. So Raul shares, a couple of you have shared so far. Let's, let's share real quick. So Raul says, Raul says, uh, I've always loved watching deleted scenes and DVDs, and many of them were still storyboards, and getting to see them was always inspiring. So I guess that was it for me. Very cool, Raul. Yeah, no, this, uh, you know, a lot of things that hit the cutting room floor, and you get to see the behind the scenes the scenes thinking uh, when they're putting together, uh, you know, a film or a cartoon and they, that, that sequence or that shot got cut uh, because it wasn't pushing the story along. And uh, that's great inspiration. Thanks for sharing. Then Maria says, I want to share stories. I love music and film and always find fascinating how much feeling and lesson and lesson we can take from all these works of art. You know, and that's what's beautiful about, um, filmmaking or music in general. I, I'm, I think the most I played in, in grammar school was the clarinet. My sons, both fantastic musicians. I, I don't, they didn't get it from me. They got it from their mother. 
Uh, I, I'm tone deaf. Maybe in my own mind I sing well, but I, I'm just horrible. Don't ever ask me. I can make a music video like nobody, but um, playing it, playing this, I have an ear for music, but I, I just, I'm, it's not my wheelhouse. I guess it was the, the, the drawing aspect that could help me. Uh, but both my sons, I have one that's a fantastic classical and electric guitarist, and the other one is a piano player. And man, they're good. They're talented. Read music, sheet music, write their own songs. They're great. I, I just, I, I have no talent <laughs> for that, but that's cool. But yeah, but when you're listening to music and you're watching films, there's some stuff to entertain and there's others to make you feel something. Uh, there's so many m movies that make you just feel in, in fantastic dramas or, you know, uh, w whatever it might be or the, the music. So that, that I put a lot of of uh, weight on that Maria so that's a great idea you know and thinking what you're doing uh, you know uh, Maria says uh, Roel I agree seeing the process is very inspiring so um, Blissful Soul thanks for jumping in the first time I watched 2D animation Beauty and the Beast Beauty and the Beast I fell in love with animation I really wanted to start making comics and animations after reading man uh, manga and Marvel Comics, very cool, very cool. Well, I'll, I'll tell my story real quick because I was asked this story earlier um, this week. So what got you into uh, art? I, I'll just be honest, I, I've always been drawing ever since I was a little kid. And uh, uh, I remember doing comics and, and uh, you know, different drawings and, and, and things like that. Um, my, my grandfather is a very artistic person, but uh, not a painter, just an artistic person. And uh, I was always interested in uh, art and uh, animation and, and things like that. You know, I was all, but I was, uh, you know, and back in the day when I was a kid, uh, I think uh, a lot of people say, uh, like when Star Wars came out, uh, and uh, that was an epiphany for a lot of folks who'd never seen anything like that. Um, I was a super big Star Wars fan when that first came out, but I think the movie that really got me uh, was in 1981 when uh, Spielberg and Lucas came out and Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. That, that was the, I was like, wow. And I remember back in the day, there was a public TV station in the, the Bay Area. Uh, it was called, uh, it was, and uh, it was a KQED on, on, on that Channel 9 station. Um, they had played like the making of, you know, the behind the scenes of uh, different films and things like that. And I remember seeing, um, this is when uh, Phil Tippett, uh, uh, Puppeteer, uh, you know, was, was, they were doing different shots. You know, you had the Rancor and you you had the speeder bikes and all they were were using the toys and they were doing all this stuff and uh, i always had this fantasy in the back of my head i'm going to make movies one day you know and that that got me going into thinking about films and, and thinking about that when i was a, a kid i would uh you know make stop motion animation with my own drawings or cut out uh with coloring book characters and move them all around and, and make little videos um, and, uh, I always drew, but I never technically went to an art school or anything like that. I originally wanted to become a doctor and, uh, you know, was studying, uh, getting ready for, you know, in high school studying medicine. Art was just sort of a hobby. It wasn't like I was going to do it, you know? And, uh, so I, I went off into school and, uh, never thought about going into the arts or anything like that. And, uh, I had a friend, a good friend at the time, and he told me, hey, Polly, you know, uh, I want you to take this one uh, animation class, uh, computer animation class, and, and you're going to love it. And, you know, uh, and uh, I said, oh, I, I, it counted as humanities credit. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll take the class. No big deal. Man, I was hit over the head like a brick. And uh, I got it. I was fully invested at that time and uh, went crazy. I didn't go to a traditional art school. My, my uh, professor, mentor professor was more in the, the film and, and uh, video production of things. I had to, and this is pre-internet, so uh, you, 
didn't have really a lot of access uh, and uh, to materials on how to get going and stuff like that. So um, uh, I ended up, uh, my cousin uh, for my birthday bought me the, uh, uh, the Illusion of Life, uh, the Walt Disney book. I still have it here today. And, uh, you know, studied uh, the photography of uh, uh, Edward Muybridge, uh, who did the stop motion uh, film strips of how animation works. Learned the, the, the basic principles of squash and stretch and all those types of fun things. And, uh, you know, uh, got my, my uh, sort of uh, art chops. I did take uh, one painting class and one drawing class in art history class. Uh, but then got in and took uh, history of film, things like that, because it was more of, it wasn't a film college, it was just a typical uh, college, you know, uh, because I was ready to go into medicine, you know. <laughs> and so that was sort of an interesting uh, segue. And uh, I guess I hit the timing right and uh, uh, got my first job as a, a, a packaging and uh, advertisement designer. Uh, this is in the, before... Uh, page maker and illustrator and all that stuff came out so you're still doing stuff by you know paste up and cut out and stuff like that but eventually uh, you know I started getting more digital in terms of the way I was working uh, little basic 3d programs at the time uh, macromedia director and when that got launched out Photoshop came out in the late 80s I, you know started using that a lot and uh, got my first uh, professional job as uh, an animator in a, in a comic book company uh, that was doing interactive comic book CDs, you know, and, or CD-ROM games. And uh, uh, if you ever see it out there, it was called uh, Reflux, uh, the beginning, and Reflux uh, 2. So I did two of those, and then I uh, happened to, to be able to have, uh, get on to uh, specialty projects where I'd work with uh, different, uh, at the time, I was, we were trying to do a deal with... Uh, Golden Harvest Communications and a Jackie Chan project. So um, that was that was my start into it, and the rest is sort of just kept revving from there. And uh, but that's how I got into it, and that's how I got inspired. But I, I go back to those early film, you know, uh, like Raul was talking about those early uh, films, you know, and how to because at the time you never saw any movie magic like that, and for me that was mind blowing, you know, uh, you know. The most I saw was, uh, I didn't even remember seeing that very much, like Ray Harryhausen, if you're familiar with uh, all of his work, uh, you know, whether it be uh, Jason the Argonauts and different, he was the, the, the stop motion uh, master at the time, um, doing a lot of work. I remember uh, running home to, uh, uh, you know, watch uh, back in the San Francisco area, they had a, a show called Creature Feature. Uh, hosted by Bob Wilkins, and uh, I remember loving watching Godzilla movies, Ultraman, all these different uh, the films and stuff. Never thought I'd get into it, <laughs> but uh, you get a, you get the bug, and man, that sticks with you. Uh, so that, that's how I got my start. But anyways, uh, but it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of practice, you know. And I didn't go to a classical trained art college or anything like that, so. A lot of it is 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 working with folks and, and learning yourself and you know of course today we have the internet and YouTube and all these fantastic things but uh, back in the day when I first got started you had to go by you know either go to the library and check out books and then there was it was very limited there were no art of books and if you're lucky to find a few of them you know you had to go meet people see how it was done practice you know and uh, get it going but uh, happy to share the story I hope that inspires you uh you can do it you know and go for it if you have a passion for storytelling you have a passion for whether it be for comics or visual storytelling for animation feature film maybe just like making music videos i've done plenty of music videos myself so uh you know both on the production the pre-production side and also behind the camera so it, it's a lot of fun too so uh, we can tell stories in different ways and this industry needs good folks out there with a great sense of story, storytelling. And uh, I'm gonna kick off what Maria was talking about. If you can tell a story that makes you evoke passion or makes you evoke feeling, uh, happiness, or help you with sadness, um, I, I think that's fantastic magic. 
and uh, you, you'll see that when you see that in a film it makes you you're watching a, a, just a 2d surface you know in a 3d world and this world is built around you that you either feel a part of or you're a participant or you're just an observer of that world or the human situation or the human condition uh, and it makes you feel something as you walk away after two hours uh, or a TV show that enlightens you or makes you excited, uh, you're doing the right thing. Uh, we have a lot of competition out there, you know, as we're talking about this stuff and a lot of competition with, I wouldn't say with each other, but with uh, AI and other things like that. That's why we need good artists like you out there to build your talents, build your skills, build your storytelling ability, because there's only one you. And you have a unique story and a unique voice. And you can only copy those voices so much and they all sort of, you know, when you're mixing too many paints together, it looks great right now, but when you're mixing too many paints together, it all s turns out to be the same dull color. So if you have a vision and you have a unique story to tell, there's plenty of people out there to listen to your story. So um, either we're here to educate or we're here to entertain. And each of us can bring something unique to the table. And remember, uh, as a storyboard artist, um, whether you be working in animation, film, or whatever the production type you're working on, um, it's a collaborative process. Um, you're working with a team of artists, whether it be the director, the cinematographer, the other, you know, uh, other aspect, the town, the actors, the stunt people, the costume designers, the hair and makeup team, the lighting, the sound. There's so many different artists working together and uh, working in harmony and all with the same focus of creating a great story. And, uh, you know, it's not, you know, unless you're, you're, you're a unique person as a college student or somebody that's working on your own projects or something like that, but mostly in the in a studio environment or you know or in a production environment you're you're working together with a team of people and collaborators so cool i hope that helps you out but uh, this industry needs people like you so continue focus put in the hard work uh quentin how you doing welcome uh, i have a few inspirations but the biggest one is probably the batman 2022 film after watching it, I got inspired to learn more about film and storytelling, and now I'm learning how to make comics. Hey, that's awesome. Uh, the 2022 film, is, is this the, the new one with Robert Pattinson, the, the Batman? That was a great, great film. That was a, there's been some great, uh, great renditions. When I was a kid, I watched uh, Adam West as Batman on the, uh, in the during the, uh, the the 60s TV show with, uh, you know, uh, Burt Ward and, uh, you know, and, you know, and uh, everybody, Adam West as Batman. And, uh, you know, uh, later than when, I remember when they first, um, trailer came out for um batman the movie or just batman uh starring michael keaton i know My michael keaton got a lot of interesting press at the time because he played beetlejuice and he played mr mom and played all these other characters but man he he was a great batman and uh, when you'd never seen anything like that and you, all you had was the adam west batman which is great in its own way but then you had uh, Michael Keaton, man, and Jack Nicholson is the Joker. Oh my goodness gracious! Uh, what what a and then you had Tim Burton making bringing the whole goth and dark, you know, holy smoke! That was uh, you know a great great film. And then you had the number two with the uh, Michelle Pfeiffer as uh, Catwoman, Danny DeVito as the Penguin, and uh, Christopher Walken was in. It. Everybody was in that movie. But and then. Uh, uh, th those were the two of the Batman and then uh, Christopher Nolan's movies absolutely fantastic and uh, these latest ones are just uh, blue blue me uh, I watched the uh, I watched it on a plane I was traveling to California and uh, I caught the Batman with uh, Robert Pattinson and man that was good I really enjoyed it a lot I'm looking forward to that look like they pushed the next one out to 2026 but uh, <coughs> that looks like a great film I'm looking forward to that one Another another film I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, that's coming out down the road here over here 
is uh, I, I love Ryan Reynolds movies. I just watched uh, the uh, uh, the free free guy uh, movie and <coughs> just really enjoyed it. And uh, I just love his banter and uh, I'm looking forward to him and Hugh Jackman hanging out uh, doing the uh, Deadpool Wolverine movie. Wish I got to work on that one. I got to talk to one of my buddies. I know he's working on the film. I got to get to work on that. That would have been cool. So, uh, cool. Yeah. And, and working on your comics, uh, uh, Quentin, go for it. Go for it. Use that as your inspiration. Use it as your drawing. Come up with your own original characters. But there is so much to, to, to learn, whether it be from so many fantastic artists of John Batman, Greg Capullo, uh, you know, Jim Lee to, to you know, just, just everybody and anybody has done, you know, uh, in, in Batman, you know, that's just absolutely fantastic. Um, so, uh, Chikawa. I'm a 3D artist and very in, uh, insecure about storytelling, but I have a knack for advanced 3D techniques and any basic stories I can tell. I wanted to do an interview type of show. Cool. That sounds cool. Well, thanks for joining in the live stream. Cool to have you on board. I'm a 3D artist and, very, and, and I'm very insecure about storytelling. I have a knack for advanced 3D techniques. Cool. No, that, that's great. You know, um, Whichever way, you know, you, right now a lot of, you can learn a lot through 3, 3D and 3D programs right now and to create your, your cinematic shots with that and whether you're animating them or not. And the storytelling is, is practice. Tell a little story, you know, that would be my recommendation to you. Start with a little story with a beginning, middle, and end. Something simple. Uh, I remember... Uh, I think I've mentioned this story a few times, uh, a friend out there, uh, Stephen Silver, uh, I, I traveled down to Los Angeles to go do his uh, live drawing sessions. So he'd bring a model in and we'd draw the models and stuff. And uh, very cool dude, if you ever get to check out his site or his work, uh, you know, absolutely fantastic person too. Uh, gave me his time uh, as well. And uh, uh, I remember Stephen, uh, I was telling him I was interested in storyboarding and getting into it, and he, he just said, tell a simple story, storyboard nursery rhymes, you know, children's stories, and uh, nursery rhymes or whatever, and uh, that that's, uh, start small. <coughs> and as you build your, you know, uh, story chops in uh, uh, Chicago, you know, it's just like, uh, Put, put, put those basic storytelling uh, techniques. I did uh, an earlier live session a little while ago about storytelling and about the three act structure and also Dan Harmon's uh, story circle. So if you wanna go back and watch that uh, live stream, that might be helpful to you too, my friend. Uh, but go for it, tell some stories. Use the tools that you know how to use and tell some stories. Uh, Quentin says, yes, with Pattinson. That movie is so good. I watched it over 10 times last year. Yeah, I, I thought it was really good. I've only seen it once, like one and a half times. But a very good movie. I enjoyed it. It had that detective crime feel to it. You know, I really I liked that angle from it. And I liked how it was a younger Batman. And uh, I remember, uh, you know, uh, Robert Pattinson from the uh, Harry Potter movies and from uh, the Twilight saga of movies so it was great to see him uh you know do so, something so fresh and take a ca character that is so used all the time to make it fresh and new that was great so um and then uh Chikau, um but i do sketch a little bit cylinders and planes and simple characters cool you have you have to you have to start that way if you can draw, and then if you can draw a, a, a sphere, a circle, a rectangle, and uh, uh, you know a, a, a triangle or a pyramid, those are all your elemental, you know, your basic primitive forms. You know, if you can draw with those and shade those, you you can create whatever you want. <coughs> those are the fundamentals of uh, drawing. And uh, this goes into the lesson that I was preparing for you, Blissful Soul, is that think about uh, uh, boxes in space, and we're going to be talking about that, and uh, how to draw a perspective with boxes in space. 
and uh, so stay tuned for that one. But uh, yeah, you got to start somewhere. And then Maria says, "Have you seen James Gunn's storyboards?" No, I, you know, actually, I have not. Uh, I've seen other stuff. You know, I've seen like uh, Ridley Scott. I've seen uh, Spielberg. I've sp seen a lot of folks, but I haven't seen. Let me quickly, real quick. <clears throat> Let me look it up. I never. Let me look it up real quick. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, cool. You know, it, and it's like, um, you know, when it comes to a director, Directing and this goes this for Ridley Scott, like Ridley Scott, Sir Ridley Scott, um, director of movies like Blade Runner, Alien. Um, he he was an artist and went to art school, so you know his draftsmanship is there. But all you're trying to do, and, and I see James Gunn's work right now, so thanks for shouting that out, Maria. Um, I, I think it's so important to see other artists you don't need to be you're not drawing rembrandt you're not drawing you know uh, michelangelo drawings or leonardo da vinci drawings uh you're just trying to communicate enough of, of what is the what is the picture plane showing and, and how the shots are and i think he has a lot of those shots in his head already um cool thank you very much uh, i did read the book about the circle oh, cool cool i'm glad that worked out for you I hope I'm saying your your name properly, Chacao. And then Maria says uh, uh, he does them on flashcards. He recently posted pictures of various boxes filled with flashcards. Pretty cool. You, you know what's funny is I was working on a cartoon show that I was developing, and we did. Uh, I had I had like a garage band animation company uh, many many years ago, and uh, I was doing a, a children's uh, animation show. And uh, we, I, I got these huge, what are they, like six by six um, cork boards. And uh, we literally pinned up, we just, uh, I worked off of, uh, you know, just your regular flashcards that are note cards and uh, did it like that a lot. You know, I was actually thinking of doing a, a, a series, you know, of uh, storyboards just on, uh, you know, uh, post-it notes. I thought that would be sort of fun too. We see all these fancy tools and stuff like that, but we don't necessarily need to use all the fancy tools. You know, if you have a pen, a piece of paper, uh, you know, uh, and uh, a couple different grayscale colors, or even if it's a pencil, um, you know, whether it be post-it notes or something simple, you can do your storyboards, you know. Professionally, we do a lot of high-end equipment whether it be storyboard pro photoshop other 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 pieces of uh, software but uh you know you don't need much to tell a story and uh it's great to see a director and how they think because a lot of uh directors were storyboard artists uh because we've been working with so many different directors and and talented individuals that it's just gradually the next progression is you know you you get behind the camera and you put that shot together in uh real life cool 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 awesome we have some great conversation going on tonight so i appreciate everybody uh, jumping in and sharing this is awesome i love it and uh thank you so much and uh if you're getting some great value out of this uh please uh take a moment and uh subscribe to the channel and uh don't forget to uh like and comment on this particular video that'd be great let me turn this over here. Cool. Okay. So let's get let's get into drawing. So we were talking about the process of putting in the work. So something I, I just do every day. I draw every day. So um, there's unless there's something seriously going on, uh, I, I'm pretty much committed to drawing and, and learning each and every day. And not that you have to do what I'm doing. It's just sort of my process. And you have to do the process that works for you. Um, I tend to, sometimes I listen to music, sometimes I don't listen to music, and I just, I hear, um, I'm the type of person when I, I see a film in my head, all I'm trying to do is spit out that imagery 
through my hand, through from my brain or my mind's eye, through my hands onto the page or onto the digital uh, art pad or whatever I'm using um, to get that done. So um, I think it's important to be drawing all the time and then honing in your skills and getting that stuff going on. So let's go to uh, our uh, Photoshop file here. And I had this set up already. Change my colors in here. And lately I've been just using a just a hard round brush. It's pretty much the brush I use most of the time when I'm hosting the show. And get my pen here. Throw a layer down real quick. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll if it's getting later, I'm working all day on this stuff. I'll try to tune give myself a gray scale to look at so it's a little bit darker. So I'm not uh blinded myself all the time and uh, when I'm practicing I just sort of let my mind flow a little bit and uh, I don't think anything of it You know, and it's not necessarily cartoony or all work. Different ways. Sometimes I work cartoony, sometimes I don't. So when I'm just putting in the pencil models, I'm just I'm just sort of thinking. Just like trying different things, maybe different characters, something. Sometimes I think of uh, time periods I'll try different things
So I was asked uh, by uh, Chikau, uh, what time periods uh, do you uh, like to think about? That's interesting. That's a, that's a good question. Um, gosh, um, I think I think it depends on the uh, what I'm currently thinking about. In terms of my art, you know, I, 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 I'm always influenced by a lot of the uh, Spanish uh, artists, uh, I would say from the 1960s and 70s at times lately, you know, or, or American artists um, like Robert McGinnis, if you've seen his work, he did a lot of movie posters of James Bond and things like that, but... Uh, you know, um, I think I've mentioned it before. It's like if I'm, I'm thinking of a, an artist, I, I think a lot about uh, like Pepe Gonzalez. Um, he did uh, uh, the art for Vampirilla. And I just, I just always liked and enjoyed the way he drew the female figure. And so I always saw that as a, inspirational to me so there's certain artists you know that, that just in, inspire you and you go wow that's fantastic work you know Yeah. Other other people that uh, I've seen that I just um I love their work. Uh, let me just see who else am I thinking of all the time. There's just so many different artists out there that are so talented. Um, I tend to, you know, it's it's funny if you really, if I think about it, just just right now, I would say, uh, something like Hal, Hal Foster, you know, um, you know, when you're thinking of uh, early, uh, early uh, Flash Gordon comics or Tarzan, um, that sort of uh, thinking. Let's see who else. Ooh, there's so many people that just uh, there's so many people that are so talented um, trying to think of uh, off the top of my head um, there's just so many people that that inspire me when I'm doing art and uh, doing drawing um, who's it? let me look that name up real quick I like his style. Let's make sure I say. Write that down. It's Sean Sean Gordon Murphy. Let me say that. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, Sean Gordon Murphy. Yeah, that guy is phenomenal. I know he did his own. Zorro Kickstarter, but uh, fantastic. I love his inks, you know, in terms of uh, of artwork and stuff like that.
never uh, read much HQ and oh HQ I didn't know that okay so HQ is Brazilian for comic book cool I learned something new today thanks for sharing awesome very cool Yeah, but uh, Sean Gordon Murphy, his work is, is I, I love his work, and I know he's currently doing the Zorro, Zorro book there. We had some Batman fans here, so let's, uh, I don't know if I'll draw Batman, but let's try to do sort of more of a heroic superhero here. Sort of thinking off the top of my head is... Maybe you over, buddy. Just sort of. For the stoic. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, look him up. So it's good to be uh, inspired by their artists.
Maybe I have just fun sketching and practicing. Trying different things. How much do you lean uh, to Gazalt theory? Yeah, I, w I would say, yeah, that, that's true. You know, you use, when I'm just like drawing, I'm not really using any reference or anything. I'm just drawing the way I draw and just, I'll try different things. And it, I think it's, uh, as a storyboard artist, I'll sit there and I'll, I'll do a drawing and uh, I just go with my mind's eye first um and then so i'll use all those those uh, I, I guess the gasol uh, gasol theory is just using previous senses and previous experiences in your drawings i i guess um i sort of use what i already have built in and then if i need i think in a process of when i'm storyboarding i'll go and just because I, one, one thing why I practice so much and why I, I quoted this one is to put in the hard work is because I think it's super important to, I want to be able to sit down with a director and I've done this many times too. You're just sitting around at a table and I just got paper or whatever and you're just drawing right there on the spot and I have to be ready to draw at any time uh, for a client. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, I remember a music video I was working on and I just sat there. I wanted the deal to be able to get behind the camera and direct the actual video. And I said, well, listen, let me just start storyboarding it for you right now. Tell me your story. Tell me your senses. And you're just going off of your knowledge that you already have as you are um, executing that, that, that drawing. And I, and I think it's super important to, to have those experiences. And then what I do is once I'm done with that meeting, maybe I'll come back and uh, then I'll go get some reference if I need to, uh, if it's an animation or cartoon, sure, I'm going to need to put it on model, you know, and uh, get that done properly per the model. If I'm doing SpongeBob SquarePants, I need to make sure that I draw SpongeBob SquarePants the way that SpongeBob is supposed to look. So. I hope that helps, you know. So um, then I'll use that reference from there. A lot of it is just, just memory and...
that's sort of a fun sketch. So now I sort of go through this process, you know, a lot of the times I'll be just drawing, um, you know, by hand, you know, if I show, uh, go back over here. I know I'm using Photoshop and stuff. But a lot of times I'll, I'll just do these like sketches like this. I'll just get a, just a piece of copy paper and uh, I'll just do my sketches like this uh, or my thinking or whatever it might be, you know. Um, so I'm trying to, and sometimes the drawings are great. Other times I go, bleh, they're horrible. <laughs> you know, and so I just, I just spend a little bit of time, you know, in the mornings. You know, I'll just be sitting there scr scratching and scribbling out ideas and things like that, whatever it might be. I'll do it on the live stream or, or something like that. And then I'll just get those images and just play with them. You know, online or... Whether it be female figures or whatever I'm drawing, you know. So I think you gotta, like I said, you put in the hard work, you know. You gotta, you know, put it, put in those drawings and and just have some fun with it. And this is just sort of my thinking, uh, how fun processes, you know, and just be creative, tell stories. Um, you know, whatever, which way it works for you, you know, and you're, you're trying different things and different techniques and some, sometimes, uh, you know, they're super simple drawings. Other times I add a lot more Sharpie. And I, right now I do a lot of drawings. It's just pen drawings, you know, with Sharpie or whatever it might be. I, I think it's a, I try to keep my tools simple so I can just knock stuff out real quick. Let's see if I have any other. I just got a whole, I don't know how many reams of paper. Just sit there, sketch after sketch, you know. And just story about it out the ideas and then you know it's just if you can pick up a pen and a pencil and just be able to, to, to draw and communicate through your, your images of what you're trying to, to do it just makes it easier when you're drawing it Let's see what else I got for you And sometimes the drawings are great, and other times I'm like, ah. And uh, I usually, the ones I like, I'll usually draw them digitally, but it's like uh, you'll get some cool drawings of, you know, characters you like or whatever you're doing, and I'll put those into my boards. Just making it fun. So yeah, when, I, when I'm working like this, I'll, I'll usually use um, in the work I'm doing, and then I'll just grab one of my grayscale Copic markers, and uh, those are the tools that I'm using uh, to knock out. So with these three tools, uh, those are usually my, my boarding tools, you know, just as my, I'm doing my morning sketches and things like that. So, and then just uh, uh, I'll sit there in the morning I'll just have uh, you know, a partial ream of white paper and I'll just have fun with it. Uh, just putting in the pencil miles. I'm not trying to fall in love with a drawing. I'm not trying to uh, do anything special. I'm just sort of just drawing for drawing's sake. 
uh, for drawing's sake. Um, uh, cow, it helps for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, like I said, when I'm boarding, I'm just going off of past films I saw. I'm going off of comics I've seen, I've, uh, illustrations, uh, paintings, uh, things I've seen in real life. You know, other other projects I've worked on, uh, and I'll pull that muscle memory out to, um, to 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 thumbnail and to draw, and then I'll go back and I'll do some research. Oh, we're doing a horror movie. Well, I'm gonna go look at uh, something from Clive Barker. Or I'm gonna go look at something from uh, Stephen King. You know, a Stephen King type movie, or if it's a certain tone of darkness. You know, uh, I want it to be edgier, you know, I'll, I'll go get a, a bunch of different reference material and then sort of hone in my my artwork into that style. Hey, Bruce, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you stopping by. So uh, good to see you. Um, Chakao says, I use a ball pen and paper to get the mileage in, but I have a digital tablet. Simply, yeah, I do the same thing. I have multiple digital tablets. I have my my small little uh, uh, tablet here that I use, and then I also have my, my big tablet, and so I, I bounce be between the two devices. So if you're getting some great value out of this uh, particular live stream, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, to number two, drop a, a comment and a uh, like on this particular live stream. I'd really appreciate it. Help the algorithm, it helps the algorithm find more uh, people with uh, similar tastes and, uh, you know, that are focused on uh, visual storytelling. So that'd be cool. So um, let's go back over here to the drawing itself. Cool. Let's turn Big Paul off. Go back to Little Paul. We're drawing here together. So let's try something else. Let's get some uh, ladies, drawing some ladies here. Let's uh, change this up. Uh, did a couple of gentlemen. Let's uh, draw some ladies here. Drop this back down again. Everything going well with you, Bruce? Okay, let's have some fun. Do some cool. Hey Bruce, what have you been working on lately? That, yeah, so yeah, just got accepted to CSU. Is that uh, CSU Santa Barbara? CSU SB? Just waiting to hear back from other schools in the film, theater, art degrees. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, let me know if that was Santa Barbara.
It's so cool. been working on refining my drawing skills and going back to the basics. I really like how you formatted your content. It makes it easier to learn. San Bernardino, close. Cool. No, uh, the reason why I was asking, Bruce, is I'm, I, I taught at California State University Hayward before it became uh, East Bay, so up in Northern California. So that's why I was... And... Uh, My eldest son, he's in uh, college right now, studying uh, marine biology, or freshwater marine biology. He's going to become a biologist. And my youngest son is still trying to figure out where he's going to go to school. He's a wrestler, but uh, he's trying to figure out what university he's going to go off to. So we're just starting that process right now. So congratulations, Bruce. That's awesome. For me, it was different to get on to the... Instead of being a student after I, I gra finished up my master's degree and my master's project, uh, going off and being on the other side of the table and teaching, it helped me to inspire here on the YouTube channel and do what I'm doing here today. Having been a teacher it makes this easier. <laughs> teach and I sort of have a I don't just wing it every time I'm doing a live stream I try to put together a, a topic and sort of go with it cool yeah yeah Bruce says uh, yeah, I'm staying in the CSU network. I'm waiting on Northridge because that's the one I really want to get into. I never been up in Northern California, but I saw East Bay and thought about it. Yeah, it was it, when I went to school there a long time ago. It was called Cal State Hayward. Good school. My uh, one of my friends, he's the. Uh, Art school, uh, what would you call him? The uh, I think he's he's the dean of the of the art department now. We used to work together, and just been friends all these years. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many different degree programs he's running now. talented guy himself. So when I'm just drawing, I just draw to have fun and work on different things.
Bruce asked, did you start originally start your career in art and film? No, actually it was the sciences. I wanted to become a doctor and uh, started that way. And then I had a, a buddy of mine told me to take take a an animation class. It wasn't true animation class, but it was a creative class like that. And he said he'd count for my humanities class. I said, cool. So I did it and got uh, my, my prof mentor professor, who uh, was the dean of the program at the time, um, he was big in uh, theater and film production. And so I got in that way. That's how I started. That's cool. That works. So I just let my mind wander when I'm drawing and just sort of rip out the drawings. Yeah, uh, Bruce, when I created my, I had to create my own major uh, because my major didn't exist <laughs> at the time. So I pulled three different, uh, four. I think it was three or four different departments together. I pulled the School of Art, uh, pulled the theater department, so I got a chance to work with actors and talent and, and the theater production side. Uh, I pulled in the uh, television and film and then business. So uh, all four of those topics for my uh, undergraduate degree. But I, di I didn't go to a traditional art school at all. What would your advice be for as a film or art major? It depends on what you want to do. Um, it, at the end of the day, Bruce, it's going to depend on what you want to do, my friend. Uh, you know, I, I think the art department and the film department are two different things. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get the best of both worlds. Um, but... Uh, it's all going to be uh, dependent on where do you want to be. What what is your end goal? So if you could get if you, and the way I I, I I've taught it and the way I talk about it is is if I could grant you any wish. In terms of the, what you're talking about, what is the career you want to lead your path on? That's where uh, that's where I would challenge you with. To help you answer your question. You know, it's, it's which path do you want to lead?
Yeah, so what is it that you want to do most, Bruce? Let's see, Bruce says, uh, for sure, I totally like your take on it. It's definitely two different worlds. I clone them together because I just take film and like to say it's a different expression of art, like many, uh, many things are, but I'd say directing. Cool. Yeah, directing is fun. I've had the opportunity to direct uh, a lot of uh, short indie films and music videos but I'm waiting for that shot to get one of these uh, big boy, big girl films. That'd be great. It's always interesting, everybody's journey. I was mentioning earlier, I was talking to another pro storyboard artist and uh, he just got his opportunity. He worked on uh, Quite a few different films a lot of the mission impossible films with uh mcquarrie and uh tom cruise and uh he just got his first start in his first film he did so so happy for him Sort of that animation style going on tonight. Yeah, directing is cool. It's a lot to it. But that's what I'm saying. If there's something you want to be focused on, and, and here's a little tip to you, Bruce, or anybody that's listening. If you want to go do something, please just go do it. Um, we can sit there and daydream all day about this or that, but I, I remember back in the day that, you know, uh, when I first started, you had to have a Super 8 camera, and then from there, you, you when video camcorders came, you had a huge camcorder, and you had to carry this big old VCR thing with you to be able to film, and uh, then it went smaller, and now you have a device like this. And I'll take a break for two seconds here from drawing. 
you have a device in the palm of your hand, boom. And I would highly recommend you start making movies now. And uh, let me see, I'm a little blurry here on my camera. Get this zone back in again. Come on, camera. Go back to it. This doesn't work. I'm going to have to go to a different camera. But, but go use the tools you have. Uh, go and, uh, like I said, use the tools you have. Go make a film now. There's, there's nothing holding you back. Uh, I remember when I started making films, you know, we were processing film and Super 8, you had to wait for it. And, and you know, go make your films. You have all the tools. You have CabCut. You have your cell phone or easy access to, to a DSLR camera. If, you're, if you want to be a director and you want to go make movies, go make them. <laughs> you have all the tools necessary to be successful. And, uh, you know, I remember... When I first got into computer animation uh, at my school, I, I, I had to be a, a lab tech. And I remember having, well, there was something like 20, 25 uh, computers. And I was just trying to put a small swivel 3D sequence together. I had all, com every computer running just to render the, the, the project. Oh my God, it was crazy. And at the time, it was like... Uh, you had floppy disks, and then you had a, a SciQuest disk, you know, and back in the day, and there were no flash drives or anything like that. You have so many technologies and tools and editing software. For, for crying out loud, something like uh, if you don't have Adobe Premiere, go download the free copy of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, go learn how to use DaVinci, and you have a free editing software. Use your cell phone. Use whatever tool to capture your images. Go start. Get your buddies. Go make films now. Uh, you don't. You don't. There's not a blessing saying you know you get to be a director now. Go do it now. Uh, and the same thing goes for you other artists out there. You know, if you want to be a storyboard artist, go be a storyboard artist. Go get this stuff done. You know, um, uh, you can you can totally do this, and uh, it, and it's doable. And the technology is at your fingertips. And uh, when I was back in the day, it's like we had no tools like that. Uh, like, I, like I was telling you, I had to go uh, and uh, work at the lab, you know, for free uh, so I could get access to the lab to be able to do other projects. So uh, go for it, my friends. If this is a passion that you have, go for it and uh, make it happen. Some great conversations tonight. Thanks for jumping on, Bruce. I'm glad I'm able to give you a hand here, too, with some thinking and different ways to... think about what you're doing. That's great. Glad I could help you. Is there a genre you stay away from? You know what, I would, if I got a call and it said, hey, Polly, do you want to go direct this film? My very first film? I think I would just say yes, <laughs> no matter what the genre was, and uh, have some fun with it. And I think after you get your experiences, then you can go be more picky in terms of uh, the genres you want to do. You know, um, gosh, there's so many 
genres I, I, I love, you know, and um, I would like to work in. I, I, there's so many. Uh, I'm big. Uh, I love I love sci-fi. I love horror. I have love action movies. Uh, I, I love. There's a certain actors I just love to just get an opportunity to work with, uh, you know, um, and stuff. There's just so many out there. Um, uh, I love martial. I, I love the the John Wick style movies right now and the way that those are going. I, I you know, but also too, I, I'm a big Kevin Costner fan. I love the epic western. You know, in terms of uh, I know he's got a new two part film coming out, um, but like something like Dances with Wolves, I, I just love being lost in that world. You know, um, I, I just think it, it's so cool. Or you know, uh, I know a movie that's been playing right now is that Revenant. Uh, with Leonardo DiCaprio, um, just great filmmaking, you know, in, in terms of, uh, you know, films. So I don't, I don't know if I have a favorite one right now that I said, oh, I must do this or must do that, but I know I have some that I like more than others, but uh, I think just getting the opportunity, you know, and I think the hard part is, you know, it takes a lot of money to make these movies. And uh, if you're new to the... Uh, uh, the market, you know, or the new to the... arena of those films, you know, people don't know who you are, and they're putting millions of dollars into these movies and uh, you're just looking for somebody to give you the opportunity to do that, that you can come through. And make that happen. Just having fun with this character right now, just doing stuff. Just sort of has that uh, Aeon Flux sort of look, not as harsh. When you direct or work with, let's see, is there a genre? No, that's it. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm a great teacher, and it's nice to see how passionate you are about your craft. Yeah, I love this stuff. You know, it's right now it's what one thirty in the morning. <laughs> They're drawn with you, friends. Love it. That's really cool. Just having some fun with that. Yeah, I would be I would be curious. Um I appreciate that, Bruce. Thanks. Yeah, now I am passionate about what, what I'm doing here and, and teaching. I, I was, I, you know, I'm going to throw this out in the chat real quick. Let me put, pull it up real quick. Yeah, what, uh. I'm gonna put this, type this up. Would anyone be interested?
throw a question out there. Would anybody be interested in in uh, in a how-to workshop or tutorial style videos? Drop it in the the chat real quick. I just get some feedback from you guys. Just if you'd like to see some sort of workshop where uh, have a, a small select group of folks and we just do uh, either a half day or full day or something. I would just say probably something we could do online so you could be wherever you are and be able to, to log in and uh, do some sort of workshop or if you'd be interested in uh, more just hardcore advanced uh, you know tutorial type of uh, training or videos let me know in the chat I really appreciate that it's always great to get feedback from you guys so drop it in the chat I really appreciate that Bruce says I would for sure. Cool. Anybody else? Anybody else interested in that? Drop in the chat when you get a chance. I, I'd love to hear the feedback for it. Whether if it be a, a special day and, and just host something like that or have a, a, some sort of more of a educational tutorial style put on my full teaching cap <laughs> get to the point quicker if that would be beneficial to you let me know I'd really love to hear back and if you're watching this on the uh, the replay also too please drop me a, a note a DM drop uh, something here in the uh, on this particular video let's see it's 1 36 a.m. let's see cool Quentin, cool. I'm down for that. Cool. Appreciate the feedback, folks. Yeah, I had somebody reach out to me and, and also ask if I had a sketchbook uh, for sale. And. Uh, I, at first, I was really humbled by the person who was asking me because that person himself is a fantastic comic artist. And uh, he was asking, oh, Paul, do you have a sketchbook for sale? And I was like, no. <laughs> He's like, you might want to put one together. Let's see what else I'm going to draw. done any full figures or figure drawing yet. Draw a little bit more and then we'll call it a night. Appreciate the feedback everybody.
Let's see, Bruce is asking, do you find yourself sketching a lot of sci-fi? Yeah, at times. I guess I do. I guess I like the topic. I haven't seen the uh, the new Dune. I haven't seen Dune one. I've seen the original Dunes, with uh, Sting and all those back a long, long time ago. But uh, I haven't seen any of the new ones. I've seen uh, it's the trailers, but I haven't seen the movies yet. I don't know where I'm going with this sketch. Just having fun with this one right now. Have you seen that movie, Bruce, yet? I haven't seen it yet.
Just having fun with this right now. So, uh, not yet. I heard a lot of good things about it. I'm really big into sci-fi too, so I'm trying to take some style points <laughs> from you, lots of laughs. Cool. Host, what's up? It's uh, It's been a bit since. Just catch, catch up with the stream. Just popping in to say hello. How's it going? How's it going, host? Doing all right? Cool. Big fan of uh, Halo, Star Wars, Gundam, and all those 90s sci-fi animes. Lots of laughs. Cool. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with this drone. I'm just sort of having fun with it right now. I don't know where I'm going with this thing. <laughs> Just having fun drawing. Do some different stuff there. And if I was able to... shot into it of some sort. Interesting. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I know. Uh, I was on a meeting the other day and, and I was in black and white and they, they they, everybody was giving me a hard time. They said, why, why don't you come into the, you know, today, you're still in black and white. <laughs> cool, so I hope everybody's had a good time tonight. Um, did a lot of sketching, having some fun. Any last questions, throw them into the chat. It's almost uh, two in the morning over here for me. And, uh, Let's see, so host said, glad to see you in color. Got used to black and white. <laughs> uh, then host says, I put uh, off storyboard practice to learn how to draw. I've been struggling with it. I think I should be practicing storyboarding and learning how to draw along the way. What do you think? Uh, makes sense? Um, yeah, I, I think, hey, listen, um, you have your, and I. that's why I tried to, this, to have, excuse me, these three different styles of live streams right now. 
Um, first is our Monday's storyboarding, mastering the basics, is which we're focused on filmmaking, storyboarding, the tutorials around how to make that happen. Nights like tonight are just sort of the fundamentals on drawing. Um, stay tuned. Uh, um, uh, my buddy, uh, uh, Blissful Soul, asked uh, to do a uh, perspective tutorial. So I'll try to host that next Thursday uh, to help you out. And then on Saturdays, uh, I have my storyboard jam sessions. So whatever I'm drawing, feel free, copy the drawing, make it in your own way and go from there. Uh, don't copy for copy sake, use the fundamentals of it and then draw your own image with it. So you have your own work uh, in terms of what you're doing. Uh, I think if you are, you need to, you need to have solid foundation drawing skills, but at the same time, storyboarding isn't all about the drawing. You, I don't have enough time to sit there and draw a fancy illustration that, that you'd see in the art of book. I need to be able to drop those lines down as quickly as I can uh, to get onto the next shot. So, because if I'm doing a, a huge action scene or something like that, I, I'm drawing hundreds of drawings. I don't have time to sit there and noodle and fancy this and fancy that. Uh, I'm never going to get the job done and never submit it to my director that I'm working for, you know. So, um, you know, most of the time it's line art with some blacks on it and with uh, uh, basically a light grayscale. You know, that's as far as it goes. Unless it's a commercial, then it might need to be full color. Or if it's a, 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 a beat shot, you know, some beat boards or something like that is a little bit different. Um, but yeah, I, I work on both at the same time, you know. Learn your art skills. And then at the same time, you still have to, st at the end of the day, you can be the most fantastic artist in the world, in the whole world. But if you don't know how to tell a story, you don't know your film language, you don't know film production, you don't know how that works if you're doing live action, or you need to have the art chops so you can stay on model if you're drawing uh, for a show like SpongeBob SquarePants or whatever, uh, Blue-Eyed Samurai, if you're, you know, that, that has some gray area, but if I'm doing a, 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 a TV show cartoon, I need to be on model, so I need to be able to draw. So I think working on all those skills sort of at the same time, but pace yourself, don't go crazy, you know? It, there's a lot to learn, and you can't, cause the easiest thing to do is to get frustrated and down on yourself because you don't feel it's coming fast enough. And uh, it does take time, and it takes time on both the artistic fundamental side but if you have your fundamentals down then you can draw you know uh, better and better images and that's what tonight's uh, tagline was for our, our our sketching after hours was you got to put in the work you gotta you gotta put the pencil mileage in you gotta put the uh, the, the pencil reps in uh, to become better at what you're doing plus there's a lot of learning to it that's why I'm offering up uh, if for those of you um, that are that are super interested in uh, possibly doing a workshop with me or more uh, heavy end uh, you know high end uh, tutorial based uh, lessons let me know if that's something that you're interested in I know a few of you Quentin and uh, Bruce both got back to me if, feel free drop it in the chat right now if not DM me over on uh, Instagram let me know what you think um, I'm coming up with a couple different ideas of uh, how to take what we're doing together to make it uh, simpler and easier for you to digest and start putting into action uh, so you can hit your goals and your passions of what you're trying to do. Whether you're in school right now or like Bruce going into school in the fall, uh, you know, and uh, you can use this as a, as a, uh, a uh, side curriculum for yourself uh, to uh, enhance yourself. Uh, for your classes or or possibly start working, uh, you know, in terms of uh, what, I, what I'm demonstrating and showing you. So uh, that would be pretty cool. So anyways, any other questions? I'll leave it up here for a second. Host, Bruce, Maria, Blissful Soul, Quentin, anybody else? Yeah, host the same. My uh, drawing, learning, my my sort of my art learning seems aimless. So the storyboarding should help focus it. Yeah, you got to be able to draw stuff. You know, um, 
I, uh, Maria asked to go over how to draw cars and solid objects like that. So uh, there's a lot of fundamentals. And then uh, Blissful Soul asked for a little quick little uh, how to on perspective, you know, one point, two point, three point, maybe even five point perspective. Or we can go over that. So yeah, cool. So you'd be interested. I think I sent you something on LinkedIn a while back. Really need to get consistent. Yeah, feel free. Drop your images uh, either on LinkedIn or on uh, Instagram. DM me uh, if you'd like me to take a look at your work and stuff. I'd like to see where everybody's at. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> I was just saying, great stuff. Have a nice night or morning since it's 2 a.m. Yeah, I know. I got to get some sleep. Um, got to be back up early again uh, tomorrow morning. But uh, regardless, hey, listen, friends, it's been a blast. Uh, I, I can't thank you enough for your support of my channel. I can't believe here on the live stream we actually hit, thanks to Maria mentioning it to me while we're on the live stream, that we hit a 1,000 subscribers. That is just, God, I am so thankful for you friends out there and so honored and humbled that you uh, are enjoying the content over here on this channel and supporting the channel. So thank you for taking the time to subscribe. For those of you that are just being introduced to the channel and just joining me for the first time, please consider subscribing. Like, let's grow this community. Uh, let's grow this awareness. And uh, you know, I'm happy to share my stories, my processes, and my journey with you uh, so you can help further yourself in your own pursuits, whether you're wanting to be a director, a visual storyteller, a comic book artist, storyboard artist, or a visual storyteller in another way. So anyways, again, thanks for watching so much. I'll leave you with my contact information here at the end, but I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Saturday we'll have our, uh, you know, our, our storyboard jam session. I gotta come up with a cool idea of what we're gonna be storyboarding. So you guys have a fantastic night, Bruce, uh, thanks for joining. Host, thanks so much for popping in. Great to see you again. You know, uh, Quentin, thanks so much for popping in. Uh, I had Maria. I had Blissful Soul in here. Um, who else did I have? I had uh, Chikau. Thanks for joining in. I had Raul. Um, oh, Ali Tanard. Hey, what's up? I, I, I didn't see her text earlier. Cool. Uh, glad to see you. Yeah, Otto Schmidt. Fantastic artist, yes, so much. If you have a uh, Maria, just trying to make sure I hit everybody. Thank everybody for joining in. I think and Wolf Wolf Midnight, thanks for joining in. Appreciate everybody. You guys have a fantastic evening. I'll leave you with that contact information. Have a beautiful night, and I'll see you on the next live stream. Take care, friends.